Shalom everyone. Welcome back to another predestined predestined kingdom ministries international video or videos. I'm Kenithia Johnson. Welcome back. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for your time and your presence. I pray my flesh decrease and your Holy Spirit increase in me. I give you all the glory, honor, and praise. And I just say thank you, Lord. Thank you, King Jesus. Amen. So the Lord wants me to get personal today. A little bit personal. Because a lot of people think like you don't have to get personal when telling your story. But you just never know who you help out. If a lot of the people I watch didn't say certain things or weren't personal... I wouldn't be here because I wouldn't have had anything to relate to. My screen is acting up. Just give me a second. Okay. So anyway, I've been dreaming, guys. I've been dreaming. Why people been scheming. I saw that video yesterday. <laughs> Praise the Lord. We're going to talk about pain. We're going to talk about liars, cheating, manipulation, abuse, immaturity. We're going to talk about, um, that's pretty much it, divorce. When is it, when is it okay to leave someone alone? Okay, to cut tarmic, karmic ties. Y'all see, I took my nose ring out. So, yes, your girl is all the way officially single and pregnant. <laughs> oh, praise the Lord. So, let's get into the scripture that I found. So I, the reason why we're doing this video is be, is because of the dreams I've been having. So either this is for someone later or this is for someone now. But your husband is cheating on you. And the first dream I had was, I don't know, almost a week ago. And that's when I saw the ex or, or the person that I was um, considering for ex courtship or whatever, they were walking by with someone else. And then in this dream, it was like the same thing with the same person. So I think what the Lord was telling me was like that person was just, he just, he divinely intervened so that person could go off and marry their best friend or whatever. And it's just annoying because spiritually the other person keep reaching out to me and it's just like, stop it. Stop doing that. You know, sometimes I just be feeling like I'm crazy <laughs> because of how spiritual I am. And it don't help when male pastors play games. Like, men pastors, if you ever consider dating one, rethink it twice. If God don't ever call you to date a male pastor, don't voluntarily date one because just because they're a pastor don't mean that they have good intentions or that they're okay. Some of these men are really not good. So, when it is when is it okay to leave a relationship well, even if you're pregnant, like physically pregnant? You leave the man alone once you see he's playing both sides. When you see he's straddling the fence. Okay, well, I'm going to keep my best friend around, but I'm going to try to keep you around too even though you're not my mama choice. You leave the man alone. That's all I got for this video about divorce. I need to go into daily devotional. Leave the man alone. Once you see him 
playing games and blaming you immaturity like just not taking accountability that's what it's gonna be like for the whole marriage okay so you just want to leave that person alone welcome as you come in that's all i got i'm getting off this video was just on when is it okay to leave someone alone when a person does not announce you as their it's in the it's in the steve harvey book right it's in one of those chapters when a man doesn't announce you as his wife in front of people, he doesn't announce you as anything, but you're in some kind of courtship with them, him or her, leave them alone. They're playing games. That's it. I pray I have a blessed day. Shalom.